Larry Roberts was an artist from Chicago, known for his abstract, figurative, expressionist, and impressionist paintings. A self-taught painter and visionary colorist, he had a unique style. His mastery lay in the genius use of acrylics, the brilliant, bold application of color. Now Larry, a man of wit and creative dexterity, existed outside the confines of glossy magazines and elaborate photo shoots. Just as he was elusive, so was his art, intimate and profound, a canvas that slowly revealed itself. He'd begin with a simple base coat, paying attention to natural textures, leaving certain areas empty for later inspiration. While working, he'd strum the guitar, sketch, or write poetry. He would spend time with each artwork, allowing it to speak to him and guide him in revealing the direction he was meant to take. As he worked, adding and removing layers of paint, the images would gradually emerge. More than just a visual experience, Larry's art was deeply rooted in empathy. He was truly concerned for the world. So intense was his passion that he needed to create art every day. Those who knew Larry knew that art, to him, was a means of therapy and emotional expression. Love was a driving force in his work, with his wife Lori's presence inspiring his best creations. I was the manager, I was the packer, I was the critic, I was the one that he bounced his ideas off of. He was the most prolific artist I've ever seen. And I had the joy of witnessing it for 30 years. His art you have to spend time with. And the more that you spend time with, the more images come out of it. If you could, moving from left to right of the painting, the more that you sit and you let all of the outside world go and you start looking at the painting, that's when the magic happens. And you start to see all those images come out that he subliminally hid in there. I guard Larry's art and it's very important to me, so I don't believe in sharing that, or I should say entrusting it to someone else unless we knew that they would also and care about it, love it, nurture it, and give it the life that it needed to be given. Won't stop for 